Hey guys, welcome to this week's OMG Tuesday. We are doing it again where I am not just testing one product, but I have a bunch of them and they're all really kind of strange. So I'm gonna test them out on the spot. It's kind of like an OMG haul of weird products. And the first thing that we shall test, oh God, I don't even know. I have like a colored hairspray thing that I got from Sephora, a foam dry shampoo, some lip things. Actually, you know what? Let's start with lips. I was at Sephora and I saw this. I was like, uh, do I need it? Do I not? Do I need it? And I'm like, I'll test it out in weird products. It'll be great. Uh, this is actually pretty gosh darn expensive. This is $39, but it was in the front of Sephora. And whenever you walk in Sephora and you see like the big, huge display, it kind of just calls to me. Like whenever I see like the new products, I cannot help myself. So I did pick this up and let's take a look at what's inside the box. The top says that you should love your lips, how adorable. Oh my God, I have to say the last time I opened a Glam Glow package on my channel and it said, hello, sexy, there was actually a comment from someone saying that that was sexist and that a woman doesn't need to hear that she's sexy opening a package, but you know what? I like it. I think it's cute. I think extra touches everywhere in the experience of your product is really fun, so why not? So in here, this actually looks like a needle kind of a thing, like they put what you would see on a syringe. So the whole theme is like you got lip injections. That's the whole thing. So this is dual chambered, meaning that it has two different products in here, but you are going to squeeze it up. That's not how you do it. <laughs> I'm fired, I fire myself. You have to switch it, it will say AM right here, which is what you are going to use to plump and prime, and then you flip it over to the other chamber that says PM, and that is going to be your evening serum that you use with your skincare. That's really kind of cool, actually. And the daytime one is a matte lip perfecting serum. Let's try that. I'm just gonna wipe off my lipstick, even though I love it. So let's see what this does. I'm going to push upward on the A, that just kind of went everywhere. Ew. Ew. It's like a Play-Doh thing. I need spaghetti. It's like coming up like that. That is so weird. All right, let's see if this burns the crap out of my lips or if it feels comfy cozy. Mm. Don't do that. It tastes like poison, which is probably because it has a lot of chemicals. Mm. I don't know about this, guys. Wait, what? I don't know, it feels a little slippery and weird. I think this is gonna be one of these that I have to try over time. Whew, it's a little minty. It feels like a minty piece of gum is in my mouth or like an Altoid, like that kind of cooling sensation. Not uncomfortable. It actually feels like it's doing something to plump my lips though, which is really weirding me out. I can actually feel something happening. Am I losing my mind or did my lips just get bigger? This is really strange. Okay, I'm gonna see what the PM one feels like. I just kinda wanna Oh, that smells even more minty. Kind of smells very medicinal. F, it's like on the tip of my tongue. It smells like icy hot. That's what it smells like. Like, you know the muscle rubber? It smells like icy hot. Ooh, that's really strange. Okay, so I'm gonna have to play around more with this. It is supposed to smooth lines over time, create a more plumping looking lip. And I think this is gonna be more of a skincare add-on than it is like a gloss that you would put on on the go and make your lips look plumper. This is more of a treatment that I'm gonna have to use over and over and over to see if I get a good result. So be on the lookout for this in an upcoming favorites or I'll let you know if I don't like it, but I definitely am gonna put this in my routine and try it out for a few weeks. Let's continue with the lips because I have another cool thing. <gasps> I actually can't wait to try this on. This is from Touch and Soul. You guys know I did a dedicated video on the metallic shadows. I got every single color at Sephora. I swatched them all. I will link that video down below, but I saw that they had them for the lips and we all know like the metallic lip is a huge, huge trend right now. Sometimes you can do it right. Sometimes you really can do it wrong. So we're about to see how this one goes down. It's a two-step system. So there's a little work involved, but I think this color is really pretty. I also got the shade Penny that I will swatch for you guys, but I wanna put this one on. It's going down. We're just doing this. So I think this is the step one, is the actual like liquid lipstick. Step one, apply liquid first. Allow it to set for one minute. Step two, apply hydrating glitter gloss to lips. I'm gonna blot off the excess of the 3D lip plumper just in case. I don't want 
anything to interrupt the potential results on this product right here. Oh, James already put tape back on this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Um, all right, so we're going in. Uh, is that just me or does it, that not seem that dark? I really thought it would be a lot darker than this. It's kind of, see to me this is patchy. Let's try to make this work. All right, now I'm supposed to wait a full minute. I'm already bored. I don't really understand the whole purpose of the base if the gloss is all like very opaque anyway. So, what do you guys want to talk about? Should I cut my hair like this? I keep thinking about it. This is really sticky. I'm really trying to switch it up from drinking coffee to like iced tea and this has no sweetener in it and it tastes like horse's hay. Like what a barn smells like is what green tea tastes like to me. Does anybody else feel that? Can you recommend to me in the comment section, please? What is a good iced tea that I should brew at home to kind of be a little healthier and not do coffee in the afternoon? That's what I'm trying to do, but that just tastes so gross. Okay, going in with the gloss. Oh, yes. See, that's cool. I kind of see why they have you do the two steps now. This is not super opaque when you spread it out. Okay, this is a $25 product and it's not totally wowing me. I don't like that you have to do two steps for really what you could do in one swipe. <sighs> so this is a little bit disappointing. It's 25 bucks. It's a pretty color, slightly patchy. It's not overly metallic. It's more of a micro fine glitter that it's in here that makes it super, super shiny. So it's kind of bad. It's a little patchy. Uh, we're gonna keep it on though. So moving on. Now this, I have no idea what the deal is with this. This is called the Perfection Mist Nude Glow. So I have not tried this, obviously. This is in the shade Universal, so that is telling us that it's gonna be great for everyone. This is something that is going to give you a radiant finish. It's great for all skin types. For best results, spritz over skin as the last step of your makeup routine with no blending required. Let's find out what the biz is about this. I'm gonna give it a good shake. Why am I so scared to do this? I don't wanna ruin my eyelashes. Oh. This is just supposed to be a last step in your makeup routine to enhance the way your skin looks. Three, two, one. <coughs> oh my God. Oh shoot, it's like super dusty. I look like I just left a spin class or hot yoga. That just actually made me look sweaty. That's not cute. It smells like spa product. It actually has almost a waxy feel to it. It doesn't have any like glitter or anything. It just, I guess is gonna add like a dewy, dewiness. Oh my God, I feel like I need to go wash my face. That was actually awful. <laughs> I really wish I had not done that. I'm gonna need some powder. Man, I'm kind of like striking out here, you guys. Seriously. That guy from Sephora is 20 bucks. It says it has a sheer coverage. It's clear, so I don't really know what that means. And it's good for all skin types and it has pearls added into it, kind of like a pearl sheen, but I didn't really detect that on my skin. Okay, moving on to more weird spray things. So I saw this and I was like, I have got to try this on, on camera. I know someone out there is gonna really appreciate this. This is from IGK. This is the Ombre Color Spray. Now they have a blonde one, but I was like, you know what? Purple is my favorite color. We're gonna like go out on the edge. I was just talking to you guys about how I had neon blue highlights once upon a time. And I was like, this could be kind of fun to like spray in the hair. And it's not just the Halloween formulation. It's like something sold at Sephora that's this nice hair care line and maybe it's really good and it won't be overly crunchy and gross. I kind of feel like I can't breathe in here right now but let's break out another aerosol. So this is an expensive item, it's 29 bucks. It does say that it strengthens the hair and it does good things for it. So it's not just a fun product, but it's actually like a nice hair care line that cares about the quality of your hair. Is that even doing anything? Does that look cool? Am I edgy now? I don't think it's really showing up on my dark hair. You know who would love this? My mom who actually has purple highlights in her hair right now, but whenever they fade, she gets very upset. And this would be like the in-between perfect item for her. I am going to tell her about this. 
when I'm just going to stop. I'm gonna mail this to my mom and I'm gonna have her take a picture of it on her blonde hair with her purple highlights because this is kind of cool. Smells really good. The pigment obviously is there. I do feel like it does make your hair very, like it feels very crunchy right now. It's not cute. Okay, so we have one more product to try out that is super cool that I have seen online that I have been waiting to try out. I've been really excited about this. You guys know I love a good dry shampoo. I'm still hooked on my drugstore dry shampoo from Pantene. That one is so good. Um, but this is from Way Hair Care. This is the dry shampoo foam and it is a foam, like it's a waterless foam. So this is supposed to clean your hair. It's not a powder, but it's not a water, and it's supposed to just remove the oils, refresh, and clean your hair. Now this is a $28 product. Oh, sh Oh my God, I swear on my channel. It comes out really like a foam. Let's just see what happens. It smells so good. Oh my God. Yes. Or no. Yes. Well, the scent alone is really, really good. You know who didn't wash his hair today? James. Let's call him. Hey, baby doll. Hello. You didn't wash your hair today, did you? No, why? Come upstairs. I can use you in my video, my little <laughs> guinea pig. Oh, no. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, see you in a minute, bye. What you need? I mean, I need your dirty hair. I don't have dirty hair. I have dirty hair. Wait, tell everyone how often do you wash your hair? I'm jealous, like, by the way. Like every three or four days. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> I have to wash my hair almost every day. Unless I have like a mad workout. If you've got a mad workout, you got to wash your hair. But. Yes, that's true. So this is a dry shampoo foam. I'm going to see if you can try it. So what do you do? Okay, so you use on dry, dirty hair, shake it up, work a palm full of product in your hair. You're gonna work it in your hands and go like this and you're just gonna put it in your hair. Okay. I actually think you're gonna love this. I think um, it's gonna give you a lot of really, really good So texture. I use it like mousse? Kind of, but like massage it in your scalp. Okay. It's like Cool Whip. For your hair. Oh no. Yeah, do it. Oh no. Do it. <laughs> this is gonna be do so it. bad. So the worst thing you have to do is wash your hair. Just do it. Aww. Do it. Rub a dub dub, you're not in the tub. Wow, the things I make you do on my channel, I really love you for it so much. My audience loves you for it too. Big thumbs up for James making an appearance. All right, so now I've got my 80s hair. <laughs> you know, it's. Do you like it? It actually gives you like nice grit. It kind of looks cleaner. Yeah, it I does. Think. I does think it? it does too. I thought it was going to slick me back, okay? Because when you use too much mousse and you put it in, your hair looks like completely wet and then it's stick and it's, it's stick. It's stiff and it sticks that way all day. My hair is still dry. You look, okay. You look cute. I'm blown away. You're blown away? Yeah. Let's okay. see how it wears though. Okay. I'll let you know. Oh, okay. James is going to let us know. So what's this? It's what is on my mouth right now. Can I have some? Let's is it transfer proof? Let's see if it's transfer proof. Nope. So out of all of these crazy products, the dry shampoo foam is something I am actually really excited to try out because I could feel in his hair, it gave such nice texture, but it did also take away a little bit of the oil and it smells really, really good. So I think this is awesome. At least we have one winner out of the bunch. The rest of these are a little I'm actually super curious to keep going with this one, the 3D Lip Plump Fix from Dr. Brandt, but again, not one that we can immediately see results with, so I'll keep you posted, and that is that. If you guys are enjoying these OMGs with weird products that are like a handful at a time, please give this video a thumbs up and share it and leave me comments, I read them all, and I do hope that you had fun with me. It's always a good time filming these, all right? I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.